How's it going everyone? Jake here for Dude Ranch DIY. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome as well. Um, as you see behind me right here, um, I brought home some beautiful hickory logs and we are going to be dealing with those today. So let me show you what we got going on. So as you can see here, I uh, brought home some really nice hickory logs here in the back of the truck. Um, it definitely um, is a heavy, on the heavier side of a load, um, but it's not, you know, the truck handled them fine. I drove them back from work um, and the weight in there was not an issue. Um, thank goodness for the airbags that I have in this truck and the upgraded rear suspension. Cause as you can see, for all that weight, I don't know how much weight it is, but it's gotta be considerable amount. Um, the truck really isn't squatting all that much thanks to the airbags. Um, so as you can see under here, um, you should be able to see the airbags. Maybe it's easier to see them over on this side, but yep, there they are. I have a, uh, I believe it's an airlift system. It has the wireless like controller and everything and it automatically adjusts um i got the got the controller right up here so what i figured i'd do is i'd turn it on and uh we'll see just how much yeah you see i have them up to 100 psi right now figured i'd drop it down to doesn't go to zero, but it goes to five. Um, so here's a preset down to 15. I'm gonna go all the way down. And so now, as you can see, the truck is squatting. Um, Still not terrible, but um, it's definitely squatting a hell of a lot more than it was um, when the airbags were inflated. So these things, um, this airlift system, um, I think it's called like wireless one or something like that. Um, it's a big game changer if you're towing um, heavy trailers or just hauling heavy loads in the back of your truck like I am here today, for instance. Um, I've also found that it kind of actually I leave them, I drive with them on a daily basis, inflated to 15 PSI, and I feel like it's improved the ride of the truck. Um, Cause this is a F-250, a 2008, with the 6.4 um, Power Stroke diesel in it, but I have upgraded the rear suspension to F-350 suspension with Adelief and the airbags. Um, I also have upgraded Bilstein shocks um, and I think it's a four inch rear block in the back over the stock, like three inch, or maybe it's a three inch over the stock, two inch, something like that. But, um, the truck toes, hauls really well, um, upgraded brakes, drilled and slotted, um, by power stop for, I think they're like the HD towing. So the truck, I'm not worried about the truck as far as hauling or towing or, or stopping or anything like that. Um, so that's why I loaded it the way that I did this afternoon. But now I got the tractor over here and we are going to try to unload it, um, which might be a little bit more tricky than the loading. Um, so let me get this strap off here on the back. The strap was just to kind of like keep this one in place and provide a little blockage for this one. Um, let me get that off and we're gonna try and unload this thing.
All right, guys, we had a brief hiatus there. I uh, lent my neighbor one of my Skag walk behind, uh, my older one. It was like a 48 inch belt drive walk behind and he was having a little trouble with it. He's never used one before. Uh, turns out that the fuel filter was a little clogged up with some debris in there because it hasn't been used in quite some time. Uh, my dad was actually using it all summer. Um, so I went over there, did a little tinkering, uh, diagnosed the problem, and he is back to mowing. I can hear him over there. So now we are going to get to splitting. So here we go.
guys. So we got a nice full tote, beautiful red oak. As you can see, I was splitting it pretty small because I want this stuff to dry out as quickly as possible. Um, definitely got some more. I don't know if you could see where the camera was, but I was just adjusting the detent um, for the cylinder out function, which is this valve. Um, I don't know if it's just because of the heat um, and like the fluid is thinner or something or what's going on, but I don't know. It got a little out of whack. I think I got it back to where um, I want it or need it. So I'm going to try and split up the rest of this round right here just to make sure but um i think i you know i was i was testing it on these couple pieces here so i think we're good um so anyway i think that's going to be it for this video it's hot and humid and uh i went into work at four o'clock this morning and i got another early start tomorrow morning at four o'clock um and then sarah and i are leaving on friday for a vacation a much needed vacation a much welcome vacation so i'm trying to build up a little inventory of uh, some videos that way you guys have stuff to watch while i'm away and not making videos um so you guys will probably be seeing this video let's see it's wednesday Fridays. You'll probably be seeing this video on like sunday or monday i'm thinking um so Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm blabbering on. It's hot. I'm tired. As always, guys, thanks for watching the channel. Um, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button. Questions, comments, feedback, throw it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you here next time.